Now I'm going to show you the things that I purchased. And let me just say, I did have sort of a plan of action when I started, but once I got in there, it was so crazy and a little overwhelming. And there was just so much to look at. So I kind of got sidetracked. But the first thing on my list was the lip tars. I bought four and I bought one of the stain glosses. And let me just say, I was all over pink, fuchsia, and orange for some reason. So I got the lip tar and the color androgyny. So it's an orange color. And there's that. I still have the Ellie Foss there, but you can see the androgyny. And these are the four tars, the original lip tars that I got. So this one is not suitable for work or NSFW is the actual name. Oh, I'll show you. And these are going to start bleeding into each other, but you can see that's a red. I got anime, anime, A-N-I-M-E. That's anime. And then I got another orange, but this is the original tar, so it's a little more pigmented. And I just thought these colors would be fun to add into some of the other products that I already had. Give them a little bit of a different look. And this last one, I guess I would say it's like a neon pinky orange deal. It's kind of a mixture of things or colors. Like I can't quite call it. Okay, next I'll show you what I got from Graftobian. And this is, uh, I got mostly face color products here. So this one is the color corrector. So there's that. And I've learned about this line actually on YouTube. So this is a palette. This is um, called High Definition Color Palette there. HD. So there's that. There's just a range of colors there for a face. And the last thing I got from Graftobian is this setting powder. And it's called Banana Cream Pie. So it's like banana powder. I know there's the Ben Nye that's really, really popular here on YouTube, which I've never used before. But I thought I'd give it a try. And that is it from Graftobian. Um, next, I got a few items from the Inglot line and these were items that I just picked up they're they're kind of I guess you, you can say like refills or something because they have something called a, a freedom the freedom collection so it basically comes in this little plastic container and you're able to take it out and put it in one of your palettes that you already have uh, I know a lot of them have those like magnetic palettes that you can just pop in any brand of makeup from any line and just stick it on there and make your own like customized palette so I got this pressed powder uh, the number is 64 and then from Inglot I also got a lip color it's a pretty like purple plummy you know I'll swatch it and then I'll show it to you also it'll stay in the container so that's it. This is number 71. This is what it looks like. There's a little bit of glitter or shimmer in there. Did you hear that siren? Yeah, I didn't catch it until I started editing the video and it was pretty loud and long. So instead of just letting that run in the video, I decided to just reshoot that little clip. And uh, the last things I was trying to show you were the lipsticks from Inglot number 71 I'm sorry this is number 21 this one is number 71 okay and I've already pre swatched my hand so that's 21 at the bottom and 71 right above that okay and next up company called Moran. I wasn't familiar with this line before the show, but 
I decided to get a few things from them. This is a cream makeup. It's in medium dark. Um, it looks a little light. I probably should have gotten a shade darker. So I also got some lip creams from them. This one is in Sunburst. Couldn't refuse the bright fuchsia pink stuff. I don't know. It was I was all over that. And then there's a lady at their booth, behind working the booth, that was wearing this color, and it was Wild Plum. Okay, I also have swatches of that on my hand. So Sunburst, right above it, is Wild Plum. Next couple of products were just samples, so I didn't purchase these, but it's from the Embryo Lease Company, and they also had they also had some things in our swag bag. It was this actually the full size of this product was in our bag and the last things I got was from Magnolia makeup which I have heard of because of YouTube also and these are pigments this one is not, but it's 353 AU and it's kind of a goldy mustard type color uh, next is sort of a cobalt blue but it's called 369 Skywalker have Ella number 302 it's a gold brassy really pretty one of the ladies at the booth was wearing it so of course I had to get it this one is called Kente sort of a rusty orange coppery and then next is Pancha Tula it's another fuchsia this one is like a turquoise blue or blue green and it's called wisp number 381 and the last pigment I got was blood orange I told you the orange <laughs> and fuchsias was my thing in hindsight I wish I would have sort of picked up one of those like blue or green lip tars just for fun and then I also picked up these lip uh, lip creams or lip products from Magnolia this one is called Vogue it's really nice purple. Someone tried it on at the booth and I thought it looked great on her, so I picked it up. And then the last one. So that is all. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Items in our uh, goodie bag. So this is um, a foundation, HD foundation. And I decided to try.